Hello guys, this is the 2023 Hyundai Kona Limited. This one is equipped with the all-wheel drive. You could get the Kona in front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. And there is four trims you could choose on the Kona. There is the SE, SEL, N line and limited. Limited is the highest trim. The limited and the N line they come in the 1.6 turbocharged four cylinder engine. The other two trims, the SE and SEL, they come in the 2.0, naturally aspirated. But let's go ahead and take this Kona on a POV test drive and see how it does. All right, so here is the interior of this 2023 Hyundai Kona Limited. As I said, guys, this is the highest trim you could buy. The price on this one is 32,000 with destination. So four trims, SEL, SE, SEL, and line, and then the Limited. If you guys want to save a little bit of money, around three, 4,000, then I would recommend getting the SEL with the convenience package. That brings the price up to around 28,000 or 27,000 with uh, destination. So if you guys are looking to save a few thousand dollars, then go with the SEL convenience package. Backup camera resolution is actually good. There's two views, there is a down view and a normal view. But let's go ahead and take this Kona on a drive and see how it does. Beautiful, quiet interior, 10.25 inch touch screen, and another one right there, but this one is not touch. If you guys go with the SEL and convenience package, you're not gonna get this screen, but you will get this 10.25. So the convenience package on the SEL adds this 10.25 inch screen, which honestly looks very good. It does have, a, uh, does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but they're not wireless. I believe wireless is only on the um, base screens or the smaller screens. This Kona is nice and light, responsive. Nice, quiet cabin. gonna hop on the highway and we'll see how this Kona will do. So there's three drive modes. There is normal, sport, and smart. It is in sport mode now. turbo kicked in it did accelerate but Genesis Hyundai Kia's when you accelerate in the wrong speed and the wrong gear you just get nothing you don't get any response from the engine so they definitely should work on fixing this issue because I've noticed it in Kia's Hyundai's Genesis But if you have it in manual mode, then you could get the best acceleration you want. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in normal mode. On the highway, very comfortable seats. Suspension is nice and comfortable. amount of rubber on the rims but if you guys need a little bit something a little bit more comfortable then you have to go with the SE or SEL because there is more rubber on the rims very solid around turns and on the highway 
little bit of road noise or a little bit of tire noise uh, from those rims but not really that much again guys I really love the seats they're nice and comfortable they are wrapped in leather in this limited trim so let's talk about what's under the hood the Kona has two engine choices so there is a 2.0 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine and that's only on the SE and SEL but if you guys step up to the N line and the limited you're going to get the 1.6 turbocharged four-cylinder engine connected to a seven-speed DCT transmission the SE and SEL they're going to have an IVT transmission which is basically a CVT transmission but this DCT transmission is actually nice and responsive it does feel a little bit jerky at low speeds but it does shift nice and quick seeing out of the back is very good mirrors are nice and big even the side windows are big so visibility overall is very good in this Kona and honestly handling is decent suspension feels nice and confident on round turns but at the same time it is nice and comfortable and soft so something I'm not a big fan of the Kona is the fact it has barely any space in the second row let's go ahead and do an acceleration right here So, this 1.6 turbocharged produces 195 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. If you guys go with the SE and SEL, they're going to produce 147 from that 2.0 naturally aspirated engine. This one, 195 horsepower and 195 torque good numbers but honestly it doesn't feel like it has 195 uh, torque nice responsive as I said but just doesn't feel like it has almost 200 horsepower and 200 torque this Kona, uh, this Kona Limited has all the nice safety features, so it does have adaptive cruise control, steering assist, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring system, emergency braking, rear cross traffic. Let's go ahead and turn on the lane keeping assist is active. Let's go ahead and turn on the steering assist and the cruise, the adaptive cruise control. So. The SUV is driving by itself, it's going to steer, it's going to keep some distance between me and the car in front of me, and it will come to a complete stop. Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, their safety systems, adaptive cruise control, link giving assist, steering assist, a very good system I really like it but yeah overall this thing nice comfortable I really wish it was a little bit spacious but they are changing it for 2024 so it does have a little bit more room I believe it has the same around the same room as the new HRV and the Toyota Corolla Cross but this one the 2023 is a little bit small so I really wish that it had a little bit more room 
but still I think the Kona is selling very good and Hyundai is offering a good amount of features on uh, the Kona. Gets good MPGs. Again guys, this one is the all-wheel drive. You could get the limited trim in front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Leading vehicle is driving away, so telling me that the car in front of me has moved. Pay attention. That's an Audi e-tron. Trunk space is all right. Again, guys, the HRV and the Toyota Cross, uh, Corolla Cross, um, they have more space, but this Kona is, being, is gonna be changed for 2024, so I think that's fine. Everything is very easy to use. There's some shortcuts right here. Climate controls are very easy to use. And yeah, overall, everything is within reach. Nothing is far away. Visibility is perfect, as I said, guys. All the window switches, mirror controls, everything feels a little bit cheap, which is completely fine. This is a Hyundai, but overall, very good SUV. It does have engine shut off, so when you come to a complete stop, the engine will turn off. There's a wireless phone charger on this limited trim, 12 volt, 20 USB, I mean, uh, two USBs, type A. There is a little bit of storage place right here, brake hold and e-brake. And yeah, overall, the interior is nice and spacious. And for the MPGs, MPGs are actually good on this Kona. 27 in the city, 32 highway and 29 combined. I think those numbers are good. But yeah, overall this Kona drives good, nice and comfortable. Very comfortable seats wrapped in leather. But if you guys don't wanna spend 32,000 with destination on the limited uh, trim, then you guys could go with the SEL with the convenience package because it does actually add a good amount of stuff that the limited has into that SEL trim. So if you guys want to uh, save around 3000 bucks, then I would recommend going with the SEL convenience package. But I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2023 Kona Limited all-wheel drive. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Sam here at Key Hyundai of Milford. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.